Hey, wonder how see here. It's real windy where I am. Apologies if the audio sounds funky. But despite the wind, it's a beautiful day and I'm in a fantastic mood because I got out of the friggin' house. That's right. I bugged out again on another, well, social distancing, self-isolating, quarantine, solo road trip. And my first stop is, well, up this road here, there's a site that I've been wanting to check out. I saw it on my Google Maps and it looks like there's some kind of old cabin way up in the mountains there. I actually tried to drive out here with Barry, the Australian beast, a few weeks ago because, oh gosh, we're not really that far from where he lives, maybe a couple hours. Um, so we came out here for a day trip, but the road, we were in his, his uh, Dodge Ram pickup and the road is pretty rough. Doesn't look too bad here, but trust me, it's real rocky and there's some washes and gullies that you have to go through. And well, his truck has a longer wheelbase and he didn't want to beat it up. So we ended up having to turn back. And if you know me, you know, there's nothing I hate more than turning back. So I decided to make the first stop on my solo road trip, uh, this old cabin or whatever it is. Looks like on the map that there's like a little spring way up there. And it looks like there were some pretty substantial ruins of an old miner's cabin or something. So, hey, it's only about six miles up the road from here. I'm gonna go slow. My tires are good. Uh, I've got four wheel drive if I need it. And I think we ought to be able to make it in, well, not too long. Oh no, man, I came across all these burrows, little baby burrows. Look at that. There's a lot of wild horses and wild burrows out this way. I remember from uh, when Barry and I were out here, I saw a ton of them. Oh my God, they're so cute. I love you guys. They just want me to leave. Oh man, yeah, I don't want to scare them. So I'm just going to keep cruising, but gosh, that's a good reminder to go slow. Don't want to kill a burrow. Okay, wow. <laughs> I was able to make it almost to the end of the road, but well, it started to get real gnarly and there were some pretty big boulders in the middle of it. <laughs> and I just thought, well, gosh, why beat my car up needlessly and risk it getting stuck when I can just pull over here on the side and hike the rest of the way. So according to Google Maps, I think I'm only one and a half miles from this cabin. And well, let's see, it just after 4 p.m. So I usually hike a pace of around, I don't know, three miles an hour-ish. So I should be able to get up there in about a half hour if I don't dilly-dally. And well, I should be back to my car by six and it doesn't get dark till like eight o'clock this time of year. So that should still allow me plenty of time to uh, find a good place to camp. So you might be able to see here why I decided to quit driving on this road. I actually made it all the way to about, well, actually I made it to right here. You can see where I turned around. <laughs> <laughs> and let me tell you something. Well, what happened was I was driving along and I saw that boulder in the middle of the road and I went, eh. I mean, looking at it now, yeah, I see I could have gone to the right, but like I said, why beat up my car unnecessarily? Somehow I managed to do a many point turn here without getting hung up on anything. And well, I went back down there to park. So I feel like I made the right call. I need some exercise anyway and well, mile and a half there and back three miles. Perfect workout, beautiful weather, and I don't have to drive around this bad boy. <laughs> okay, we're almost there. According to Google Maps, I only have another half mile to go. And wow, this is some beautiful country. Look at this. I mean, first of all, Oh my God, there's a little squirrel running around. You can see we're up above the tree line now. There's actually trees. Oh wow, far out, there's a horse up there. I was just hiking along singing to myself. You see him? Let's see. Oh man, it's such a pretty one too. It's like a Palomino. What a beautiful wild horse. Man, I sure do wish I could get closer so you guys could see him better. He doesn't seem like he's very scared of me. I mean, I was literally <laughs> yodeling and singing to myself and he just kind of like looked over here like, what now? Oh, hey, dang, there's a whole bunch of horses up here. It's a couple of, what do you call those black and white ones? Piebalds. And then there's that dark brown guy up there. Hi, fellers. Don't mind me. Oh, look, there's that pretty Palomino. Oh, I always wanted a Palomino horse. It's my favorite. 
Man, how cool is it that, <laughs> well, this morning I was out in Death Valley drinking coffee out in Tacopa, and now I'm up here in these beautiful mountains surrounded by wild horses. <laughs> Look at this. The Palomino one's munching on a piece of straw. Wow, what a place to be a wild horse, though. Wow, maybe they'll just let me get up real close to them. You never know. One time I was camping in New Mexico at the banks of this creek or river, and when I woke up, there was a whole bunch of horses all around me. And they weren't, I guess they weren't wild because, well, they let me come right up and pet them and make a video with them. <laughs> it wasn't a video I made for my channel. I think I made it for my Facebook page. So make sure you follow me on Facebook if you want to keep up to date with some of these short, goofy little videos I make. Oh, look how sleek. Oh, this one's got a baby. I better give her a wide berth. I don't want to freak her out. Oh, look how beautiful. <laughs> Man, that's like the symbol of the freedom of America right there. Wild horses. Oh my God, stop it. Look at the little baby. It's okay, I won't mess with you. Just passing by a little baby. Oh my God, look at the little baby. Sorry guys, <laughs> YouTube. <laughs> Oh my God, that is a tiny baby. It's all velvety. You can see the little ribs. Aw, you beauties. Sorry to scare you guys away. I love you. Oh, I wish I had some apples to give you guys. Aw, look at this beautiful little wild horse herd. Oh man, you guys are freaking awesome. Okay, I'll keep going. <laughs> oh man, now I don't even care if I find a cabin or not. I got to see those awesome horses. How cool is that? And also, hey, that's another bonus to being on foot. Because if I was in my rig, well, the engine noise probably would have scared them off. And there's no way I would have been able to get as close as I did. So <laughs> I feel like I really made the right call now. Oh, wow, far out, man. I can see the cabin and it actually looks really nice. You probably can't make it out yet, but it's got a chimney, looks pretty solid. And there's a beautiful grove of some kind of trees behind it. I think that's where there's a spring. Wow, this place is epic. Okay, wow, looks like at one time, maybe there was a, well, it either said no trespassing or visitors welcome, who knows. Wow, we look at this friggin' place. I wonder if there's anything left inside this old cabin. Let's find out. Okay, wow, look at this place. This was huge. This was a big, solidly constructed house. So I don't know how many people lived up here, but it couldn't have just been one guy. I mean, look how long that porch is. Man, that must have been a nice porch. Especially look at the view going down there. Wow, all right, let's see. Looks like we have this awesome cabin to explore. Oh my gosh, if I could have made it all the way up here. Look at this campsite. I could have camped here. Oh man, well, too bad. And then it looks like there's an outbuilding. Well, it looks like there's actually a few outbuildings up there, there, and well, even down in there. But well, let's just go in the cabin first for a change. Okay, here's the backside. An awesome chimney. Oh man, there must have been like a back porch back in the day. Looks like a screened in porch, maybe even a, well, yeah, it looks screened and you can see remnants of screen still hanging there. Oh, look how creepy this is. All the grass growing up around the old stairs. Look, here's a piece of an old plate. One of their old dishes. Aw, sad. Okay, so now we're on the back porch. Uh, well, it looks like we can get into the house this way. There's an old refrigerator. Directly in front of us is the chimney, which is still standing. And then off to the right, I think that was the kitchen. So I'm assuming we'll be able to get into that through the house. So let's just go into the house. Looks like this uh, back porch was really nice brick. Oh man, this is a trip. Okay, look, oh my God, you guys. There's the fridge. I'm gonna take a guess. I'm gonna guess it was a Cervelle. I see a lot of those out here. Yep, Cervelle. Ding, ding, ding. What do I get, what do I get? What's my prize? <gasps> an all expenses paid trip to an abandoned cabin. <laughs> okay, enough messing around. I still got to hike back down to my car. Okay, here to the right is what used to be the bathroom. Oh, look, it was plumbed. They actually had a real flush toilet. And that looks like it was probably a shower. I don't see any plumbing left there, though. That's interesting. And then this is the room that has the glass window still intact. That's pretty impressive for as old as this cabin looks. And then look on the... <laughs> 
on the wall above the toilet, there's the nails where they used to hang their bathrobes. Oh man, and then look at this. Ugh, all this mold and stuff. Better not breathe too deeply in here. Whew, let's get out of the bathroom. Okay, now we're gonna go back into... Well, now let's go in here to the left of the main part of the house. Now these are the rooms that were facing out into that front porch. Wow, this is a nice room. We back up into the corner. I mean, the walls are all still intact. Windows, well, the glass is broken out of the windows, but man, look how beautiful the view is. If this was your bedroom, wouldn't that be awesome? You see all those wild horses? You could probably, you could probably feed them, leave oats out for them, and they'd come around and get tame. Oh man, here it looks like there was a closet to hang up all your Western shirts, your jeans and stuff, your Wranglers. Uh, is there anything up here on the shelf? Nope. Look down here. <laughs> it's an old playing card from when they used to sit around and play poker. <laughs> wow. Man, I can only imagine the old ranch hands that lived up here. I mean, I guess they were working a claim up here? I don't know. Oh my goodness, look in here. Okay, here's the next room. This looks like the main room that you would come into when you first enter the house. What do we have in here? An old, really old, <laughs> really creepy bed. And it's a bit, or oh, it's two beds side by side. And look at them. They're like metal frames. And there's a there's a, a handle on this one to like crank it, like a hospital bed. It's stuck now, I don't know. What kind of beds these were, kind of freaky. Uh, it looks like there's a tarp, that's what that is. So there's a big plastic tarp sort of hanging down the middle of the room. I don't know if it collapsed. If Oh, you know what, that's what it looks like happened. It looks like that tarp was uh, on the ceiling maybe trying to block rain and it just all collapsed down onto those beds. So unfortunately we can't really, well, see the beds anymore. It looks like at one time they maybe had inflatable air mattresses on them and you could actually camp up can't like stay in this cabin. We got a few items of interest on the bed. There's a few magazines I'll check out real quick. And then what's this? It's like an old cabinet covered in black mold. I'm not gonna breathe. God, talk about mold. There's all kinds of moldy nastiness around here. Oh, I don't know what this was. Cause it's, oh, it looks like it had drawers in it at one time and they're missing. So nothing interesting in this little nightstand or whatever it was. Let's see how old these magazines are. It's the last time somebody was up here. Field and stream, looks like some hunter type stuff. November 2008, oh well. Oh, I see, it was a field and stream magazine from 2008, wow, 12 years ago. Oh look, there's a pretty new-ish broom here. Like somebody was trying to clean the place up. Good luck with that. Here's another magazine, let's see what year this one's from. What was this? This looks like another kind of hunter type magazine. Maybe hunters stay up here in deer season, you know, or I don't know if there is deer season up here, how that works. I'm not a hunter. I just like to shoot animals with my camera. Oh, this one here is June 2009. Oh, wow. The recession. Oh, and then they left their ammo box up here too. Classy guys. Look, and then they did, well, they actually did lay some supplies in. <laughs> some creamer, an extra pair of uh, polarized sunglasses. Uh, oh, look, a can of beer, if you want to call this beer. Just kidding, I don't drink beer anyways. Pork and beans, a couple bottles of water, some gummies. Oh, look, here's a visitor's log. Wow, look how old this is. Man, I can't even... Looks like the last person here was Bill. Put it here in the light. Last person here was, oh, Wild Bill in 2010. Oh, gosh, that's a long time ago, dang. I'll put this visitor's log back here where I found it. Um, well, there's a few supplies up here. A coffee pot. What's in here? Oh, here's another log, a visitor's log. Let's look at this one. This one's rolled up so it might be in better shape. Let's see who the last person here was. Oh, dang, look, 4-18-2020. That's not that long ago. What did I say it was today? The 22nd? Four or five days ago, Diana Walker was up here. Hey, Diana, what up? I guess I better sign this. Okay, I signed my name on the list. Now I'm gonna put it back in this coffee can. Put the coffee can back up here where I found it. I made my mark. Uh, wow, let's just keep looking around this awesome cabin. Well, you can see this really cool stone fireplace. Like back in its day, it must've kept this place really cozy, even in the winter when this place is knee deep in snow. 
That's right, they get snow up here. Oh, look, here we can see. Well, we can see a couple things. There's what the beds look like. Real old creepy beds that for some reason have this weird crank so you can raise or lower the one end. I guess if you want to sit up in bed and read. And then here, there's the other end of that, what I thought was a nightstand, it's a desk or a sideboard or something. Oh man, this place must have been really nice. Okay, so that all was one big central room that we just explored. And then off to the left here is another, I guess this was another bedroom. Oh my God, yikes, look at that mattress. Ugh, nighty night. <laughs> okay, and then obviously out front here is the front porch. This is what we saw when we first walked up. And I don't know if it was screened. It looks like it was screened in at one time because you can see little remnants of screen still left. So this must have been the place to sit on a summer's evening. Oh, absolutely beautiful. But then look here, there's carpet tacked up on the wall. I guess, oh, I see there was a window there and they tacked carpet over it. So to, to provide some insulation, I guess. See on the inside here, Ugh. Okay, and then through this door here, this takes us back around into the kitchen. And let's go back in here. Man, even these doors are pretty cool. What a shame, this cabin must have been amazing. Oh, man, I sure do wish I could have seen it back in its day. Oh, well, look at this. It's like where they kept all their dishes and there's still a few plates left. Oh, the stories these dishes could tell. Chateau, hand-painted stoneware, Japan. Oh, look, it's just like a little piece of a, a teacup. There's some old cowboy's chaw tin. And then, well, unfortunately, we really can't get into the kitchen too much because the ceiling is collapsed here, but you can kind of see there's a stove, a gas stove. And, well, there's a sink over there with an amazing view out the window. Whew. Okay, wow, this cabin is one of the my favorite places I've ever explored. Like, relatively easy to get to. You know, not that far from the city. When I say I start hiking at 4.06, I don't think I even left Barry's house until like two o'clock, you know? So just a couple hours away, but it feels like, feels like I'm back in time about 200 years. Okay, now let's check out some of those outbuildings. There's one, two, three over there, and then there was this one down the trail. Let's go down the trail first. These are probably just where they had all the farm animals, you know, chickens and such, but could still be interesting to look at. Let's go down here. This looks like it was a chicken coop, rabbit hutch, something like that. Oh, wow, yep, yeah. chicken war. Look at that old chair. <laughs> Holy moly, this thing is so old. I mean, one wall is just made out of stone. Two walls are just stone, side of the mountain. And then it's like really crookedy roof just leaning on it. Oh, maybe those were, uh, those little bins. What do you call those things like the chickens roost in? Little boxes for the chickens to make nests in. And then I guess they would just climb up this ramp to get to them. And then look at that really old, Idaho apples fruit crate. That's cool. Oh my golly. Man, I can just picture being like the ranch wife up here. Like you go down this little trail every morning to, to get the eggs, fresh eggs for breakfast. And you got to cook breakfast for all the ranch hands. Eggs and bacon, bacon and eggs. Oh wow, look here. Looks like they had a dog too. Maybe that's what was on that sign when we first walked in. Yeah, maybe they had a big, uh, you know, old yeller type dog that ran around help the guys round up the cattle or horses or whatever they had up here. Ugh, all right, well, let's uh, let's see what's over here. These buildings here, they're just farm outbuildings and they're pretty busted, so we won't spend much time looking at them. Poke our nose in here real quick. Chicken wire, collapsed roof, detritus, not much. Obviously this is where they kept animals or could have been like a work shed, although I didn't see any evidence of shelving for tools or anything so i don't know don't know but nature's taking back over now that i do know grass growing through the floor love it hmm looking for clues as to what they were doing here i mean it doesn't look to me like they were mining anything in the area so maybe it was just a little homestead they ran cattle up here you know cows or horses or something here's the other other outbuilding that i saw yeah, it just looks like it was a pen for animals. You know, horses or cows or something. Or I don't know, maybe this was a work shed because this actually looks like, I don't know, more of a building and there are nails 
one on the wall, like you could for hanging tools or something. Although I suppose that could just be for hanging tack if it was a barn, you know, saddles and such, reins. My, 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 okay, that was pretty much it to that little homestead. I'm gonna start hiking down to my car now because, you know, I don't have that much daylight left. I need to find a place to camp. There's one other cabin that's sort of nearby here that I wanted to try to check out. I have to figure out if I can squeeze it in tonight or if I should just camp here overnight and then go see that one in the morning. So I'll figure that out or I'll decide when I get to my car. Oh, hey, fellers. The horses are back. They're just ahead of me on the trail. I'm just gonna walk along like, be cool and, well, maybe they'll let us get close. Oh my God, that Palomino is amazing. Hi, beauty. Oh, it's a, it's a male. Wow, so mellow. And look how close we are. Hi guys, I love you. Come here, don't you wanna be in my video? I love you. You should let me babysit your baby. I have references. Oh, I think that horse just farted on me. <laughs> Look. Mmm, majestic. Look, he's like, see that lady? Okay, I mean, I'll just, I'll sidestep it. No problemo. Ooh, that's fresh. See you later, feller. Oh my God, I love this. Okay, made it back to my car uh, just before 6 p.m. And this other cabin that I wanted to check out is, gosh, it's only like five miles from here. So I thought, let me just go over there real quick and check that out too. Cause I have a feeling it's not gonna be as cool as the first one. And I don't wanna make like a whole separate video for it. So I'll just tack it on to the end of this one and then I'll go find a place to camp. Okay, wow, I'm glad I decided to bang this little cabin out real quick because, well, there's not much to it and it's definitely not worth a trip of its own. Look, I mean, I didn't even shut my rig off. I left the engine running <laughs> and this is what I had pinned on my map. Unfortunately, there's really not, a, well, much of anything left to this little shack. It was dug into the side of a hill and I'm sure some miner had a nice life in it. <laughs> but there's really nothing left now. Oh well, they can't all be winners. And honestly, it's okay with me that that's just kind of a little shack because I didn't want to spend a lot of time poking around it anyways. It's already, well, I think it's like 6.30 and I still gotta go find a place to camp and make dinner and everything. Now, <laughs> I'm only two hours, if that even, from Barry's house. So I suppose I could just go back to Barry's, but by golly no, I'm on a solo trip and I wanna go explore some more, man. <laughs> Seeing those wild horses in that, that uh, homestead just got me all fired up to see more awesome stuff. So I'm gonna get in my rig and continue on. I think I have a pretty good idea of where I can camp. And it's not too far from here. Okay, this is where I'm gonna camp. What a place. It's called Big Dune. It's not very imaginatively named, but it's a huge sand dune field that, well, it's about, I don't know, hour and a half north of Vegas. Anyway, it's a really nice, peaceful place to camp and there's 4G cell signal. So I got here just in time to see the beautiful sunset over the dunes. That was a great day of exploring. Oh my gosh, I feel so much better than I did this morning when I left Barry's house. Man, just seeing those wild horses and all those flowers and the beautiful mountains, and now I'm back down in the beautiful desert. Ugh. It just, it restores my faith in how awesome this world is. But I don't have much daylight left, so I'm gonna cook some food. And when I say cook some food, I mean boil in the bag some food. And well, I'm probably gonna hit the hay kind of early because I've got a lot of stuff I wanna do tomorrow. So see you then. <laughs>